Power, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Colossians chapter 1, verse 11. Strengthen with all might, according to his glorious power and all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. We're talking about the glorious power of God. The, uh, a pastor, a preacher of a bygone era, A.J. Gordon, talked about a British uh, friend came to see an American friend, and they went to see the mighty Niagara Falls, and the American said, Behold, at the side of the falls, the greatest uh, source of unused power in the world, to which the British man replied, No, the Holy Spirit of God is the greatest unused source of power in the whole world. The Holy Spirit of God is the one that is a strengthener within her. He gives us the ability to have personal power in our relationships and situations. You've noticed that the world has spun out of control over these last decades. And I believe that what you're seeing is a lack of the presence of the Holy Spirit in the lives of people. And so they're living powerless lives and Satan is sweeping in and, and whispering all manner of evil in their ears and our culture has been we've invited him out of our culture and our schools and our government and our and every important place in our lives we need the power of God back we need the Holy Spirit back in our lives we need him to lead us and guide us we need him to give us power to be able to have effective marriages and families we need his power to shatter addictions we need his power uh, to uh, have resource in this world we need the Holy Spirit's power to change America and make it what it needs to be. But we need him to change us and make us what we need to be. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. And I thank you for the unmatched power of the person of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, that he is with us moment by moment. He infills us as believers. He baptized us at the moment of salvation, God. Thank you for him. I pray that you'd help us, Lord, to live in close relationship with you, that his power and presence might be manifest in our lives as we live in these last days. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.